You're the best pilot we ever had. Get out there and save the world. Everybody ready to say goodbye to our solar system? To our galaxy. Here we go. Ready. All right. Hey, before we start the interview, I got to say this, man. I really respect what you're doing, and I was never more proud to see your success last year. So congratulations Thank on the you. big win, because you've been real since day one. Heard. Like, Thank no, you. seriously. So congratulations. Thank you and where do you keep it? Where do I keep? The Oscar. It's in our home in Malibu. And it's actually, we've got a nice big rafter that's kind of high, and uh to put some of that was put some of the trophies up there. You can't really read it from the ground, but it's up there. Yeah, you made me proud because it's not everyone can say that they hung out at a trailer park with an Academy Award winner. Right. So we got that. <laughs> Cook steaks in Kansas City. There you go. Yeah. Now tell me this: Could you have done this movie without being a parent? Could have. It's a good question. I think I could have, um, but I don't know if it would have meant as much. You know, I mean, because this this story is about family. It is about being a parent. It is about goodbyes, you know what I mean? Um, and returns, maybe, you know? Um, I think me being a parent and having, having three children, obviously in ways I don't even know, help me understand this, you know, uh, and, and be attached to it and see it from the inside out. Now tell me if I'm right or wrong, I could picture you as a kid wanting to be an astronaut in real life. Or at the very least, like a, yeah. a, a fighter pilot or something. I just can see you like Heard. just signing up to take off and fly jets and planes and do your thing. You know, I never, but I never thought of, I never thought about it. And, and, and here's what happened to me very early on. The reason I, the re, I always thought, you know, as far as Army, Air Force, Navy, Marines, I was like Army. You deal with what's on the ground. That's all that we can work with. I didn't even worry about out there. I didn't think it was even attainable. And it's probably because my my, my kindergarten teacher. I, I saw a cloud in the sky one day and I said, how big is that? Is that as big as the world? And he says, that is as big as the world. And of course you can see the outline of the cloud, right? So then all of a sudden I'm in a plane and we're in a jet, you're in a cloud and how quick? About 30 seconds. So I was like, Phew. man, if that, this plane must go a billion miles an hour if it's already in this cloud. And so I thought this, it was way too far out there. Not until I was, you know, 18, 19 did I start to understand that how, you know what, we, that, that may be a new frontier. You know, that that is attainable. But, but when I was a kid, no. We're here. We want to get down fast, don't we? Actually, we want to get there in one piece. Hang on. Now, when did you realize and appreciate working with great filmmakers like Christopher Nolan? When did it set in? with you during your career that, yo, this is what makes it happen. These guys, these women, they're important to the process and they help make me better. Well, I mean, a director's always been of great import to me, always. In 22 years thinking about who the director would be and for what project. Um, I've been in a position where I've been able to help choose certain directors and that's always really interesting because, you know, somebody made a, made a good film before they, and maybe the last ones weren't as good, they, they've got another good film in them, or do they? Um, look, Christopher's been doing something with, with his career. Nobody gets more size and scope on screen than Christopher Nolan. Nobody today, in my opinion, is making, going to the theater to see a film more of a must-see uh, you know, destination than Chris Nolan. Um, I read the script, it was a very personal script to him. It had all the size and scope and epic uh, feel that you could want and expect from a Nolan film, but it also was incredibly intimate and very personal and about a father and a daughter and about family. Um, and so I was excited to go be directed by this guy who conceives these things that most of us can't even imagine. Well, job well done. Like I Thank said, you. congratulations on everything. Always good talking Thank to you, my friend. Too. Thanks a lot, man. Travel well. Good work. Thank you. You're watching Black Tree on TV, only on Soul of the South.